definitely seeing more and more folks out here, Melissa, getting ahead and starting on their prep work. Unfortunately, these sandbag sites all too familiar for so many families come out here, fill up the bags and try and prep your home as well as possible for the severe weather. There's going to be four sandbag sites that are open throughout Pasco County. Two of them are 24 seven. That's going to be at Magnolia Valley Golf Course and then here where we are at Public Works Barn C. The other two will be open uh, from sunrise to sunset. That's at Veterans Memorial Park and the other one is that fire rescue station number 29. Families that we've talked to here in Pasco County say this feel like deja vu. They just got done prepping for Hurricane Helene. That storm hit. Now they're right back at it with Milton. The difference this time is that on top of that, they're dealing with damage from Helene. As you drive around areas in Pasco County, Newport Ritchie, Hudson Beach, there's just piles of people's debris and belongings stacked on the side of the road. They say while dealing with that, they are very, very concerned about what Milton could bring. They can't leave their properties. They're too busy between the rain and trying to keep their stuff dry and they're in a panic state. Um, they're traumatized. You can see folks out here getting an early start to it this morning. Sandbag sites are expected to be busy. Pasco County leaders asking everyone to prep as soon as possible for this potential of severe weather. We're going to post the locations, the addresses of these sandbag sites for you on the WFLA app. We're live in Pasco County this morning. Beth Russo, 8 on your side.